behalf of the Center for Human Rights Studies and the Center for Study of Knowledge Systems, uh, I'm pleased to uh, in, I mean, uh, extend a warm welcome to all of you for this consultation on potential transitional justice framework for Manipur. I want to give you a brief backdrop of the uh, context uh, for our work. Uh, you're all aware of the uh, fast undertaken by Iram Sharmila. Um, it is unparalleled in the history where a person did not have food and she was on a fast for 15 plus years. And yet, um, uh, on the, uh, you contrast it with the response of the uh, state. And uh, so that's how a few years back, uh, we uh, wanted to take up this issue. And uh, our chancellor, um, in fact, uh, one day was interacting with the first training course for IAS officers. And there was an officer from the government of Manipur, a senior one, and who appraised Mr. Naveen Jindal about the uh, situation in Manipur. And our chancellor felt that uh, uh, here uh, is a situation where our university should work. And uh, thereafter, myself and Professor Shiv Vishwanathan traveled to uh, Manipur. And we spent about a week. We interacted with the senior army officials. We um, moved heaven and earth and had a meeting with Iram Sharmila. And uh, at that time, she was under custody, but she was held in a hospital. And um, before us, uh, uh, eminent uh, uh, persons, including some ministers, legislators from Jammu and Kashmir, were denied permission to meet her. And um, uh, Gnan Peet Award winner, Mahasweta Devi, also tried to meet Iram Sharmila. She was denied permission. Luckily, we were given permission. And today, I want to uh, narrate a few anecdotes. In fact, when we met Iram in jail, and um, there was one precondition laid down by the prison authorities. They said, uh, uh, no cameras, no recording devices. Uh, so we um, went, myself and Shiv, spent about an hour with uh, Iram uh, in her cell inside the hospital. And uh, she, in fact, uh, she autographed in my book uh, one small statement and which really moved me and even now I recall with uh, the thing. She says, I want to live a normal life. I want to marry and I want to have children. And so imagine the, um, uh, the, uh, her feeling. Uh, and so are many Manipuris. In fact, uh, they were under the Armed Forces Special Powers Act uh, with um, uh, under violations. And uh, uh, in the wake of the um, uh, conflict situation, uh, the state was adopting a tough uh, uh, RI uh, 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 response. And when we met the army officials, they had their own narrative. And they, of course, justified uh, whatever uh, they did. And in fact, uh, the second anecdote I want to narrate is a, uh, a meeting with the widows who were affected by the conflict. Uh, it was organized and we, myself and Shiv, had a one hour meeting with uh, widows who were affected and uh, uh, who, uh, what you call, um, for no fault of theirs, were uh, facing uh, um, serious injustices. In fact, uh, the state had no support mechanism whatsoever for, uh, um, uh, for such families because they were dubbed or characterized as uh, uh, those killed in um, like, uh, uh, underground elements or terrorists killed in action. And those people did not qualify for any support. And when Shiv and myself met the a group of widows uh, in, the, in a closed room, and it was a heart, uh, what you call, uh, rending story, heart, uh, we were deeply moved and uh, uh, even now their children's right to education and their own situation has not been addressed properly and there's a lot that needs to be done and some people have been eliminated and their families have been forgotten and uh, the third one was um, 
last year I went to uh, Manipur and there was a solidarity for victims organized. I saw an elderly gentleman aged 65 years old and he said, um, my, sin, my son was killed in an encounter and at the end of it, there was an officer who tells me that uh, here is a five lakh compensation, you take it. And he says, I want to tell you that I will kill your son and I will give you five lakh compensation, will you take it? And I, today I cannot remove the sight of this elderly gentleman from my mind. And it was so powerful, so, uh, uh, what you call it, entrenched in my mind. And that is a feeling that is shared by many Manipuris who have lost their, um, uh, what you call, close kit and kin and who are awaiting justice. And that's how uh, we got into the, this thing. And there has been a long, uh, uh, what you call, uh, uh, movement for the repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act or the draconian provisions under the uh, AFSPA. Uh, our students uh, went travel to Manipur under the Center for Human Rights Studies, spent several weeks, assisted Bablu and his organization, documented uh, each of these uh, uh, cases of you know, uh, extrajudicial execution and uh, gave the details to Manaka Guruswami, who is the amicus curie, and that has helped immensely, and Manaka has also acknowledged. And so this, this is the context in which uh, um, uh, uh, the background to this consultation we have prepared a draft report and based, uh, I mean, today's consultation is a, uh, what you call it, it's happening during the midst of our examinations, the end semester examinations, but our students want to be actively associated with it and we hope to circulate uh, 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 um, the deliberations of today uh, and uh, um, we hope to improve the draft report based on the deliberations of today and uh, uh, circulate it to all concerned. And uh, now uh, we are so delighted that uh, uh, the former Chief Justice of the uh, High Court of Chhattisgarh mm -hmm. and former Chairperson of the Manipur State Human Rights Commission, Honorable Mr. Justice uh, Shishak is with us today. And he has seen a uh, lot of uh, uh, violations uh, during his own tenure. He, he knows the ground realities and I want to extend a warm welcome to him and uh, for accepting our request and for uh, being present here today. And we look forward to hearing from him. And I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, uh, the presence of Professor Shiv Vishwanathan, uh, uh, who is heading the Center for the Study of Knowledge Systems. And uh, 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 both of us uh, were involved very closely. And uh, for about a week, we were in Manipur. And then after, we followed up uh, on a regular basis the developments and uh, and I'm so happy that uh, uh, um, the Professor Stephen Marks from Harvard University uh, uh, and uh, he has been mentoring the Center for Human Rights Studies and he has been taking a close interest and he's also a member of our governing body. Steve, we are so uh, uh, delighted that you are here. And I also want to acknowledge the presence of, uh, um, from EFORM, uh, 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 Edina, uh, who's here, and also Mr. Bobby Chen, uh, with, uh, thank you very much uh, for traveling from Manipur and for being part of this consultation. And we really look forward to the next panel. And I want to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Ravi Nair, uh, South Asian Human Rights Documentation Center. And I'm sure uh, his inputs will prove very critical in, uh, uh, in the way forward session. Um, with these few observations, I now uh, request the, our Honorable Justice Sishak uh, to give his uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, inaugural address. Thank you.